Hello everyone, this is Natalie and my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. As I promised, I would like to show you the sealants I am going to use to secure the butterflies keychains I diamond painted the other day. Whether they are used as purse charms, or keychains, or even Christmas tree ornaments, they will be exposed to the environment that would most likely damage its appearance, unlike, for example, a standard diamond painting picture that gets framed behind the glass and hangs on the wall. So, I got a few sealants, and I would like to experiment with several of them and see how the butterflies would turn out glazed with a resin or clear cast, sealed with water-based mud patch, acrylic spray, aqua glue, and a clear glitter blast sealer. We will compare before and after and find out which sealer takes the sparkle and shine away. We are going to seal only one side of each butterfly to compare with the original site later. And each sealant is assigned to a specific butterfly. Let's start with the resin or clear cast. I won't stop on the process much if you need more details on how to mix and apply it, I have a tutorial, I will leave a link in the description box below. I used this resin on my diamond painting before, it creates a great glass finish, glowing effect and a great protection, but it does take away individual sparkle of the gems. By the way, if you look at it close, you will see that clear cast filled in those gaps between the diamonds, between the gems. So it will preserve it also from accumulating dust uh, between them. It is glazed with clear cast and it usually takes 24 hours to dry and harden. So let's leave it for this period of time and check it out later. Now let's move to the second sealant. This is a glass water-based mud patch. It is white. But once it dries, it turns transparent. The glass mud patch is not as liquidy as, for example, the resin. And it is pretty hard to spread it all over. It is not my first time using it. I used it once in my Blue Rose kit, since the canvas quality was terrible. The drills were not only popping up, but falling out as well. I applied mud patch and it caused the loss of sparkle, although I could have put a thick coating. It is done. I will leave it for a few hours to dry and we will see how it turns out later. The third one is an acrylic spray. I used it on my icons of Virgin Mary that had a very weak adhesive. It doesn't take the sparkle away, if the coating is not too thick, of course. But I'm not sure if it secures the drills to the extent they won't fall out in case of frequent friction if it is used as a keychain. What I don't like about the spray is that the smell is too toxic. We will not need a paintbrush for it. We will just spray the butterfly. And this toxic smell stays for days even after it is dry. So it is done, it is sprayed, and it takes approximately 30 minutes to get dry. The fourth one is Tombow Mono Liquid Aqua Glue. I am not a fan of glues since they tend to flake off and yell over time, but I've read a lot of positive reviews about this very glue as a sealant. So it is clear, it is transparent, so we'll just put it all over it and it is claimed not to take away the sparkle and that's what I'm trying to gain. 
with securing the drills as well. I'm really very sorry I'm recording with the phone in one of my hands and with the ceiling the ornaments with the others so I hope you wouldn't mind if I turn off the phone for a second, spread the glue better and turn it back on. This glue spreads really very well, much better than Mod Podge, but um, to tell you the truth, the resin spread the best. I don't know why. Look, it's getting kind of transparent. So, the glue is applied and we will let it dry. And the last but not least, one that I read a lot of positive reviews as well in a diamond painting community. It is a Krillin Krylon Sealer Glitter Blast, but note, clear. It does not contain any glitters inside, no sparkles, no glitter inside. It is absolutely clear. It is also a spray and it is formulated to provide full coverage and a truly 3D look and it dries in about 20 minutes. The main reason I got it is that this very sealant created especially to preserve glitter in crafts, hence sparkle. Let's spray it. I really hope that this sealant doesn't have such a toxic smell as the acrylic one. Okay, let's do it. Done. Sprayed. You know what? It does smell. There is some kind of smell, but it's not as bad as the acrylic one. It actually smells kind of like gasoline. So I'm going to leave those ornaments overnight since it's around 9 p.m. now, Friday, Memorial Day weekend. And let's uh, do it once again. This butterfly was sealed with resin. I bought it in Michaels for $16, but you can always use a coupon and buy it for eight. That's what I did. I paid $8, although the price was 16. This is a Mod Podge. I also bought it in Michaels for like $5 or $3, I don't remember. Then this acrylic sealer, either I bought it in Walmart or Michaels, not sure, also around $5. This butterfly was sealed with it. This is Aqua Glue. It costs around $2. I did not buy it. Uh, I brought it from work, but I saw it on Amazon for $2. And this one, I bought it in Walmart uh, today and I paid around $5 for it. Okay, I will see the result tomorrow. You will see it in a few seconds. So, are you ready? It is done. Let's look at the result and I will go more detailed about it. So, resin, mud patch, glue, aqua glue, acrylic, and glitter one. Okay, now, as to the resin. And this is after. So, what I can say about it, it was sealed with clear cast. It did take away the sparkle. Glowing remained with a beautiful glass finish. I think that in kits like this, being sealed with resin, the loss of sparkle can be justified since the gems on the ornaments can fall out or get easily damaged. Clear cast sealing will secure from its happening. Here it is. You see, it still shines and glows. 
I actually like it. I tried the gems and they are not moving. So they are really very secure and that's what I want. Next, Mud Podge. This is after. I do not like this one at all. The sparkle is completely gone, shine somewhat remained, and it looks very inaccurate to me, both on the drills and between the gaps, as if they're like spots of glue, you know. So I really don't like it, and uh, my first impression uh, with the mud patch on my blue rose was correct. It takes away the sparkle and it is very inaccurate. Just compare these two. You see? And this looks really very odd and weird. Looks like there is still adhesive over here, you know, between the gems. I don't like it. Next one is Agua Glue. That's how it looked before the other side. And that's how it looks after. Look at this almost no difference on the contrary i like the sealed part even more i love that the sparkle remained and i like the fact that the gems are well secured i was trying to move one and it doesn't move and the aesthetical look overall is great since it looks glazed in between the diamonds in those gaps if you can see uh, it is similar in a way with the resin but <laughs> less effort to spread the agua glue than the resin you need to mix it but still beautiful i like it it did not lose the sparkle whatsoever and again look at the gaps do you see they look glazed very beautiful so i'm not sure if it's gonna um turn yellow over time or flake off but i like how it looks I like it very much. Next is glass finish acrylic sealant. And after. Um, sparkle remained, but I would like this one because it sparkles and um, between the gaps it looks like um, the area is glazed. It looks good, but the sealing part failed. I can easily move the diamonds very easily. So it is not sealed well. It, the diamonds are not protected well. They would fall out in the slightest friction. So. I mean, I think it's fine for diamond paintings that would hang on the wall, but this being used as a keychain with this sealant, no, it's not gonna work. And the last one, Krylon or Krylon Glitter Blast Sealer. I love it. The sparkle remained. Look, this is before. I didn't seal this part. This is after. So, sparkle remained. The drills are sealed really well. I can't move them. So they are both protected and they sparkle. And the result after the sealing doesn't really differ from what it was originally. So these are my three favorites. I do like how uh, raisin glazed kit looks. Again, when it comes to this kind of uh, diamond painting kits, you know, keychains, charms and stuff, I really like it. It is really very well protected and glows. I do like how Agua glue sealed the diamond painting. I don't even know w which of them I would give the first place to, because they, look, they both look stunning. Um, they share the first place. The only difference is too messy you know to work with resin but the result is worth it 
the result is really very similar with both of them. I like these two sealants and I would recommend them. And the third one is this Glitter Blast sealer. Um, why it is on the third place? Just because the gaps between the gems do not look glazed. For example, in Agua Glue and with the resin, when the area between the gems look beautiful, it has a glazed, glassy finish. And the drills are less secured on this one than, for example, on the ornaments sealed with Agua Glue and with resin. But it is much more protected than, for example, uh, on this ornament that was sealed with acrylic sealant. My top three. And as to these ones, Mud Patch, no, I don't like anything about it. I hate how it looks. And acrylic one, sparkle remained, but what's the point? It did not secure the drills. They still are very movable and they can uh, easily fall out. So thank you so much for staying with me. I hope this video was uh, informative and it would help you decide what sealant to use for your diamond painting project. See you soon.